What the heck is happening to the paint on my Aston Martin's grill? Welcome to another episode of Aston1936.com. Today I'm actually going to be talking about refinishing the grill um, in my DB9. So there's a couple of different grills that were fitted to Aston Martins over the, uh, the, the Gaten era cars, the Vantages and the DB9s. There's a seven bar grill that the original cars were fitted with and that's what my car has. And then there's the later model cars actually had a five bar grill. So um, as you can see, the finish on my seven bar grill is falling apart. Um, it looks terrible right now. And, and it's been progressively getting worse over a couple of years. Every time I wash it, it looks like uh, a little bit worse. And uh, the grill was basically available in two formats. There was a, you could, as an option, you could get the polished aluminum. It could look chrome. But most cars were fitted with this sort of platinum gray uh, finish. And this is actually paint over top the aluminum bar grill. Well, what they didn't do very good is they didn't prep the aluminum bar. This is still shiny where the paint is flaked off. And that means the paint didn't have almost anything to bite into. And if you look along here, essentially you can see just spot, tons of spots where the finish is um, failing. The paint is lifting away from the bar underneath. And the center bar was really poorly prepared. It's almost stripped the whole way across my car. So, um, couple of options. Well, I could buy a new grill from Aston Martin and it'll show up and you just bolt it in. Um, and that's probably the expensive option. Um, I can remove the grill and I can uh, strip the paint off and I could switch it to just be polished because uh, the polished bars are under there. So if I just got rid of all the paint, um, I basically could have the upgraded option of the chromed grill. Um, I could do that, strip the paint off, take it to a paint shop and have it repainted, um, which is definitely an option. Or uh, I thought, well, as a do-it-yourselfer though, what could we do? And we could actually maybe use vehicle wrap and we could wrap the bars and fit them back in. So now instead of just being uh, unprotected uh, paint, they'll actually be like a vinyl more durable, kind of almost like paint protection film kind of material. And I thought, well, let me give that a shot. So that's what this whole video is going to be about, is the, the story of basically getting this stripped down and uh, putting on paint protection film. The process of refinishing the grill is involved. There is a lot of steps to it. And if I did it all in one long video, uh, it'd probably be two hours long and you'd be off watching clickbait videos before I even got started. I've broken the process up into six separate videos and they're basically going to go in order. The first one is removing the grill from the car uh, where I show you how to get it out. The second one will be how to disassemble the grill. Uh, there are seven bars that make up the grill and some plastic bits you don't want to break. The third one is going to be how to actually uh, strip the paint uh, off the grill bars. Uh, that's an involved process. Um, the fourth one then is going to be how to wrap the grill bar um, and uh, after that we're going to reassemble the grill, uh, put it all back together again, and then finally reinstall it in the car. So if you check out those other videos, uh, here's what it turns out like. Well if you put in all the hard work, here's the ta-da moment. Uh, here's what my refinished grill looks like and uh, if I don't mind saying so myself, it looks terrific. Um, the finish is uh, better than I thought it would turn out to be. And uh, I really, you know, it's been a labor of love, but I've enjoyed the process. So it hasn't been too expensive to do. This is definitely something anyone can afford to do. Probably I'm all in a hundred US dollars. Uh, some of that spent on a couple of inexpensive special tools and the chemical strippers. Uh, the rest is spent on the vehicle wrap material itself which was maybe 60 bucks, something like that. Where I really invested though was in time. Um, all in, I probably spent at least 20 hours 
Uh, but a lot of that was spent inventing techniques so that I could show you how to do it yourself. I invented the, you know, the little jig for holding it um, as I disassembled it and uh, shot the videos and stuff. So I spent a, you know, a good part of that, part of that 20 hours on just um, coming up with the process. You get the benefit of that. If you were to take this on yourself, I expect that you could probably get it done in maybe 10 hours. Um, but that's not going to be 10 hours straight. That's probably going to be 10 little one hour chunks. Because remember, you have to essentially you spend most of that time putting the uh, bars in the paint stripper and then sealing it up. And then you're wrapping the bar with uh, paint protection film or with a vehicle wrap. So it just goes um, in lots of little bite sized chunks, but it'll probably add up to 10 hours. Come in for a close look at this. Um, it's turned out you know, really well. There's a, uh, this is the matte finish of the satin uh, dark gray. So there's even a little flop, uh, you know, the uh, kind of looks metallic and then it, you know, the color changes just slightly depending on the lighting, um, which is terrific. But when you, you know, look at a horizontal surface of it, um, it's really pretty close to the original uh, colors. And you can see my, you know, the end cap that's refitted. Um, you may notice the, uh, you can see into the ends of the bars here. Now these would have been painted in black uh, originally, uh, but remember these are going to be in the sculpted nose cone part of the car. The only one that has the, uh, the filler is the top one because this will be the only end bar you can actually see. These are all hidden uh, inside the, uh, the front hood area. So the next part is just let's get it back in the car and see what it looks like as a finished project. So here you have it. Uh, my grills reinstalled. You can check out the companion video that goes along with how to actually bolt it back into the car. There's a couple tricks to it. But you should be, like me, hopefully feeling a really nice sense of satisfaction. Um, for basically $100 or less, you have completely refinished your grill uh, back to whatever uh, material, you know, if you wanted a gray like this, if you wanted it polished, if you wanted a carbon fiber look, you can change that yourself for very few dollars. You've just had to put in the time. So I think it looks great. Um, this particular gray goes really well with my Merlot red uh, uh, paint color. Uh, so my baby's finally back together. It's resprayed and uh, um, I got my new grill on there and I'm really happy with the result. Up here you'll find uh, a link to whatever my latest video is. Uh, down here you'll find uh, a link to the companion blog for the whole grill series. Um, if you like uh, to see videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, you'll get automatically notified when new ones come out. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.